the giant Murray card. Woo! So we're just uh, entering the, uh, I think it's called the Sunraysia uh, area, the Greater Sunraysia area. And basically uh, there is a problem with fruit and vegetable in it. The truck goes by. Um, you're not allowed to bring, like, they're called host fruit into this area because they contain insects called fruit flies. And fruit flies are really bad for all the agriculture around here. So we're madly eating all our bananas and apples and tomatoes. Laura's boldly gonna eat tomato. I'm, I can't eat a tomato like an apple. That's just terrible. Are you seriously gonna eat that? Yeah, I will. It's terrible. It's the same as what we'd slice up for sandwiches. Tomato is technically a fruit. Yeah. Apparently. It's tasty. So I noticed it about. Oh. About 15, 10, 10, 15 k's ago, the car was handling a little bit funny, and so I, uh, I quickly um, I pulled over after that and discovered that the tire was flat. It's only this back one, which is good because it originally it felt like a bit more than just the back one. So we're about 8 k's from Mildura and about 5 minutes from where we were meant to be camping that night. So we we're actually camping, going to camp at King's Lagoon or King's Billabong I think it was. And that's where we got the puncture. And so I put a quick repair kit in it, I fixed it up and made it to our campsite that night. Alright, well I want to show you our setup. We've got a bit of a, a good setup going here. We're still fine tuning it, but we've got a fridge, a battery with a smart battery box, and uh, we've got some solar panels. We've got obviously our RV5, which you've seen earlier. So these are folding solar panels. Basically, what we do is first of all, we take out obviously all the cables that we need or don't need, and then we unvelcro it. We find a nice empty bit of space fully in the sun. We literally just lay it down and fold it out. And there we have the solar panels. Now what we're going to do is obviously connect up the solar panels to our battery. So let me just uncoil this one here. Obviously this is the first time we've actually used it. So this is a charge regulator which you absolutely need for a smart battery box. First of all we connect the uh, the solar panels up to the solar panel section, like so. Alligator clips connected to the battery load, which is here. Attach the alligator clips to the battery terminals. So at the moment you can see we're currently discharging at one watt, or negative one watt. So we're discharging and that's because the fridge is connected and we've got also our lights here connected. So it looks what happens when I connect the solar panel. Connected onto the black alligator clip. Look at that. We've already got charge in there, plus 24 watts. There we go. And that's just the folding solar panels there. So it's actually charging while also connected to the fridge and the lights that we've got inside. So we've had this set up for three, running for three days now. We've had the fridge set up running, we've had lights, I've had my laptop and our phones being charged off this smart battery box. And in the three days that we've had it running, it's only discharged down to 
86%, but so far pretty happy with the setup. Pretty happy with the setup. <laughs> Laura and I have got a wager going about when Levi will crawl. Now I think he's gonna crawl this trip and I reckon he's gonna crawl probably Let's go for it. Let's go Christmas Day. 14 days. That's two weeks exactly that I think Levi's going to crawl. What about you? Mm. When do you reckon Levi's going to crawl? Yeah, I was thinking about it. I, mean, uh, I was going to say something like the last week of the trip. Let's say Jan 1st, so New Year's Day. New Year's <laughs> Just Day. Just to keep the celebratory All right. theme already. And when do you think you're going to be walking, eh, bud? <laughs> <laughs> you just want to you just film, don't you? We've just arrived in Broken Hill and uh, the night is now fading. We're now in ACDT, if you know what that means. That's Australian Central Daylight Savings Time, I think. I don't know, you can probably tell me if I'm wrong. And uh, so we're just about to head off for the night and uh, welcome in tomorrow. Long day tomorrow, don't know where we're going to be, but we'll see where we get to. Good night. <laughs>